Ali has been an idol of mine for as long as I can remember. And he was my boxing icon. That was until I heard the inspiring story of Len Johnson, Manchester's uncrowned boxing champion. So Len Johnson was born in 1902 in Manchester to a West African father and a local Irish Mancunian mother. He was mixed race, just like me. Len Johnson's mother, Margaret, was attacked in the street and left with lifelong scars across her face, all because she married a black man. I know, it's wrong, right? That's how it was for Len and his family back then. Len's father recognised his sporting prowess, and just as my mother did, took him to a boxing gym. Len got into a fight whilst working at a factory in Manchester. This is where he realised he was naturally talented at boxing. His dad instantly got him to have a boxing match, and he won his first two amateur bouts. Len had 135 fights, winning 93. He fought all over the world, he beat Ted Kid Lewis, who Mike Tyson once described as one of the greatest fighters of all time. Len fought all over the world and beat some of the best fighters of his generation. 135 fights, winning 93. But in 1911, the Home Secretary, who then became the Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, banned interracial boxing matches. This meant that a black fighter couldn't fight a white fighter. This colour bar that stopped Len Johnson for boxing for the prestigious British title and the Lonsdale belt. If it wasn't for Len Johnson, people like Anthony Joshua, Dylan White, Frank Bruno, Lennox Lewis, and lots of other famous black British boxers wouldn't be the world champions we know today. The colour bar remained in place until 1947, but by then, it was too late for Len. But in 1933, Len Johnson retired from boxing after a decade-long career. He never boxed for the British title, as he wasn't allowed to, because of his skin colour. He was demoralised and walked away from the sport. However, it was Len's work outside the ring that has really inspired me. Len Johnson worked as a volunteer firefighter in World War II and literally pulled people from burning buildings as bombs were dropped all over Manchester. Len knew all too well about the social injustice and racism that held black people back. So, in 1946, he set up the new international club with two white friends, Sid Booth and Wilf Charles. From there, he provided much-needed advice to the growing black community right here in Moss Side. When the Manchester Shipping Company sacked all of its black workers, Len Johnson and his team at the New International rallied the white workers to stand shoulder to shoulder with their black friends, and the shipping company reversed their decision. Fast forward to 1953. Len Johnson's been retired from boxing for the past 20 years. He's kicked out of this very pub, all because of his skin colour. You might wonder what the colour bar policy was. Well, the colour bar policy meant that the landlady or landlord or whoever owned the business could refuse to serve someone based on the colour of their skin. Again, of course it's wrong, but that's how it was for Len Johnson back then. So, of course, Len was a fighter. He wasn't going to accept that. So over the course of the next few days, Len got the support of his friends, both black and white. And around 200 people in total gathered outside this pub and demonstrated against that decision. A few days later, Len was invited in to enjoy a drink. So guys, that was the inspiring story of Len Johnson, Manchester's uncrowned boxing champion. I want you guys at home to feel inspired by Len's story and his fight for racial equality in and out the ring. He was a real hero and he's now my boxing icon. Remember the name, Len Johnson.